Hi and welcome to this nesting and fabrication tutorial video series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the compare tool, which lets you get an overview of sheet, nest and nest study statistics, as well as being able to graphically see each sheet side by side. So if you remember in the last video, we went ahead and created three separate nest studies. The first, nest study six, had one audio rack and two of each audio case. Nest study seven had exactly the same. But for Nest Study 7, we didn't create the manufacturing models, and we also chose to use alternative packaging. And lastly, Nest Sheet 8 was an overall job quantity of three, meaning three audio racks and three of each audio case. So if all you want to do is to find out a little bit more statistical information about each sheet, each nest, or each nest study, we have this nesting information dialog down the bottom left-hand corner. Expanding that and selecting a sheet is going to give you a little bit more information about cost, efficiency, and a date when it was created. Likewise, I can select a nest. It's going to give me some information about the nest. So the number of sheets used, how many parts are contained within those sheets, and an overall efficiency and cost value. Lastly, if I select a nest study, the data changes again. And now we have information about how many nests are contained, how many total sheets, as well as an overall total cost. Nesting information only works with single selections, so I can't choose multiple sheets, for example. It also doesn't show me any graphical information. So to do that, I'm just going to hide nesting information. I can right click on any node. In this case, let's choose nest study six and select compare. The compare dialog, as we said, gives you the same statistical information as nesting information did, but this time we also have the ability to view each sheet in our nest graphically. Each sheet can be panned and zoomed, and a simple middle click will reset the view. We have different colorization options. In this case, the colors are set to each material, so we can clearly see when a new nest begins and the next one starts. I have some different colorization options. Using this icon, I can change between material, which is the default. I can choose source, which will color each source a different color. Shape, which is each shape that's contained within those sources. And I also have two orientation options, a source and a nested orientation. The icon to the right of that will reset all of your views. So if you zoomed in on a few different views at the same time, selecting that icon will reset each and every view. I can control the information that is shown in this left hand pane using the cog icon. I'm currently looking at the study overview statistics. But let's say I want to dig a little bit deeper, look on a nest by nest basis. So I use the drop down, select nest, and now I get again some slightly different statistical information and it's separated by nest. So vertically scrolling down, you can see that nest 28, nest 29, nest 30 and so on. I can choose to minimize any of these that I'm not interested in, clearing up the view and hiding unnecessary information. There's one icon we haven't talked about and that's this icon at the top right hand corner. Selecting that changes the view to column view. So now each nest is contained within its own column and the statistics are easy to compare on a nest by nest basis. Again, I'm presented these sheets graphically. This time they're a little bit smaller. So if you hover the mouse over any sheet, it gives you a larger display so you can see the exact components and the order in which they've been nested. Finally, I can choose to compare on a sheet by sheet basis. Again, that's going to change the statistical information, allowing me to compare on a sheet by sheet basis. So in this case, I compared a single nest study. I also have the ability to compare on the nest level as well as on the individual sheet level. Now the beauty about compare is I can actually select multiple items. So multiple sheets, multiple nests, or multiple nest studies. So let's go ahead and graphically compare nest study six and nest study seven, which if you remember, were identical other than slight change of packaging. As you can see, when comparing these two studies, we're using the same number of nests, but nest study seven actually uses more sheets, 10 when compared to eight. That's because Nest Study 7 uses a slightly smaller packaging size for our FR4. If I scroll graphically, you can see them side by side. 
Interestingly, the total cost for the studies is very similar, but Nest Study 7, which uses a smaller FR4 packaging option, is slightly more expensive. Again, I can choose to compare on the Nest level and on the Sheet level. I find when you use the Sheet level, it's often easier to change the view type as it's easy to compare the statistical information. We mentioned that we were using slightly different packaging options for our FR4 material. So we can directly compare those two nests. So nest 30, nest 36, right click and compare. That's just gonna show me those two nests. And as you can see, I'm significantly more efficient when I use the larger packaging option. Again, I can choose to change from nest to sheet and I can graphically see the efficiency on a sheet by sheet basis, as well, of course, the cost. And as you can see from the cost, it's actually twice as expensive to use the smaller packaging option than it is the larger. So not only does Compare allow you to graphically compare and statistically compare, but can it be also used as a guide to allow you to nest as efficiently and as cost effectively as possible. Thanks for watching this nesting and fabrication tutorial video on the Compare dialog, as well as nest information. Make sure to check out the other videos in this series on information about creating nest studies, component sources, material library, and every step in the nesting and fabrication workflow.